Hello, my name is Mohammed Al Haj Mustafa. I'm a research fellow at the Mayo Clinic, Rochester, Minnesota. So we are here at the uh, at the Ash meeting 2014 to present the results of my work uh, about the utility of serum-free light chain measurements in multiple myeloma patients who who did not achieve a complete response. The aim of our study is to uh, ex uh, examine the value of serum-free light chain measurements in multiple myeloma patients who uh, who are who have non-light chain disease. To accomplish this study, we did a, ret a retrospective chart review of 1,354 my multiple myeloma patients at the Mayo Clinic Rochester, Minnesota between uh, January 2004 and December 2011. We uh, selected patients with measurable disease on uh, serum protein electrophoresis defined by an M-spike, serum M-spike of one gram per deciliter and, uh, or more. Uh, then uh, we uh, collected serial measurement of M-spike from the time of diagnosis till the time of the first relapse or the last follow-up if no relapse was recorded. We excluded all patients uh, with negative serum and urine immunofixations. Out of the 1,354 multiple myeloma patients, uh, 40, uh, 453 patients uh, uh, satisfied the inclusion criteria and those uh, uh, those patients had a, a, a median age at diagnosis of 64, uh, 65 years and 63% uh, uh, of the patients were male. Uh, the, the median follow-up was 66 months and uh, half of the patients were alive at the time of diagnosis, uh, at the time of analysis and 82% uh, uh, had relapsed. Um, out, of, uh, out of the 453 patients, 154 uh, 54 patients uh, achieved the normal ratio at the time of the first response. Those who achieved the normal ratio uh, had a better progression-free survival of 29 uh, months compared to uh, 16 months for those who did not achieve a normal ratio. This also uh, uh, was translated into a better uh, overall survival of 91 months for those who achieved a normal ratio compared to 58 months for those who did not achieve a, a, a normal ratio. Uh, also, uh, after that, we uh, tried to compare the uh, outcome, survival outcomes based on the international myeloma working group categories, uh, response categories, uh, and we saw that patients who achieved uh, serum-free light chain uh, normalization at the time of the first response had better progression-free uh, survival in all three groups of stable disease, a partial response, and very good partial response. This was also translated into better overall survival uh, in, patient, uh, in the patient group with a partial response. So in conclusion, uh, achieving a free light chain ra uh, ratio, normal free light chain ratio is a predictor of positive outcomes in multiple myeloma patients.